We are Ham Radio. Welcome back, everybody. It's Freddie Mac, your Ham Radio Crusader, and I'm back with another video about All Star Link version 3. How would you like to install it on a cloud server? Or just do a Debian 12 install on a PC? Well, I'm going to show you how to do the cloud server, and the both methods are pretty much hand in hand, but I'm going to walk you through this. Now the cloud server service that I'm going to be using today is Linode, L-I-N-O-D-E dot com. You can get a cloud server through them for about $5 a month for a low usage server. I guess you would call it low power. Let me just kind of show you. Once you've created your account and logged in and all that good stuff, I came over here and created my first Linode and this is it running. This is my 576335 ASL3 hub server and as you can see that's the IP address for it there and some more information about it. So let's create another one and you can see right here you've got your distros that you can choose marketplace stack scripts images backups a lot of this stuff I keep it kind of simple I choose Debian 12 you select a region since I'm in Oklahoma I always choose Dallas because it's closest to me now here's the Linode plan section. I don't choose anything from dedicated CPU. I hit shared CPU and do the one gigabyte nanode because it's $5 a month. One gigabyte of RAM, it's about all you need. Now you can choose bigger versions if you want, but for the sakes of this video, we're choosing the nanode one and we're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call it the ASL3. Well, let's put it in lowercase, ASL3. ASL3 install video. And you can add a tag if you want for All Star Link 3 or what have you. Don't worry about a placement group, but you do want to put in a root password. And for the purpose of this video, we're just choosing password 2024 exclamation point. See if that lets us get by. I don't need an SSH key because I already know what my login information is. I don't add a VPC and I don't create a firewall just yet. Don't worry about the extras and hit create Linode. Oh, it won't let me get past the password. So I guess we're going to have to make this a little more difficult. So let's go ASL3 dash password 2024 exclamation point. And it seems to like that one better. Okay, let's go down here and create Linode and see what happens. Looks like it's going to take it this time. So now it's provisioning. Basically what it's doing is creating the, the space on its server for this install. Moving over the operating system and booting it up. Alright, now you can see that the distro is running and our IP address is right here. So let's copy that. I'll open up Zenterm Lite and create a new session. That's the host address and the password is root. I mean the username is root. We'll hit OK. Accept the keys and put in our password. Let's see if it's that one or the account. Oh, and that was it. So let's go to our Debian 12 install page and the first thing we're going to do is come down here to OS install and it says you're going to start off by installing a new Debian 12 OS on your PC, computer or virtual machine. There are instructions all over the internet that detail how to install Debian 12. Briefly, you download and boot the Debian 12 net install.iso, take most of the defaults, do not install a Debian desktop environment. Do install a web server if you plan to use Almon 3 or other web management packages. Do install an SSH server. Now, we know we have an SSH server on this Linode because we've already SSH'd into it. And I'm not going to install a web server for this instance because I've done this a couple of times already and I believe that Almon 3 comes down with a web server when we install it. So. We're going to jump to this spot right here and install our package repo. We're going to go to cd slash temp. And then we're going to get this wget line right here. I'm 
Got it in there. And now we're going to do this sudo dpk package. And we're going to, this is an, a must. You have to do this sudo apt update. This brings down all the new stuff for the all star link install. Okay. Now, let's do the sudo apt install of all star link 3. And you want to do this? Okay, we're going to do this. All right, it looks like it's up, got everything it needs and got it installed. Now we could go right into node configuration, but we still need to install Almon 3. So if you're in the All Star Link manual, you can hit the Almon 3 section here, click on installation, and you can go into these directions. It tells you the supported platforms for Almon 3 is Debian 12 Bookworm and Debian 11 Bullseye. So we're going to come right down here to the ASL3 packages install for Debian 12. Let's do a sudo su and change our directory to cd temp. Get this wget package. And then do the sudo apt get update or sudo apt update and run it as well. Then we're going to do sudo apt install almon3. And yes. Okay, now that is done, and there's directions here for the De Debian 11 version of the Debian 10, other steps that you have to take, but we're not going to run through those because we're on a Debian 12 version install. Okay, now we have ASL3 installed, and we have Almon3 installed. So let's go, let's go ASL, actually let's do sudo ASL, Dot menu. Now I probably don't need to be doing a sudo here, but I'm going to do it anyway. And here is the all-star link 3.0.1 install menu. So we're going to start with node settings, but before we do, let's get our all-star link.org page ready because I'm going to need some info from it in here in just a moment. And we're going to put this node on 576.336. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is go to Node Settings, All Star Node Setup Menu, Node Number. We're going to back that out, change it to 576.336. Hit OK. Hit that node password, and we're going to change that. But we've got to go to our All Star Link page here. Copy that password, paste it into ASL3, hit OK, and go down to number three, and we're going to set that call sign, which is KD5FMU, hit OK. Radio interface. Now, since this is going to be a cloud hub, we're going to use Dottie sudo. Duplex type, we want that to be full duplex since this is a cloud server so that information can be going both ways at the same time. And when I say information, uh, the voice carries. So we want full duplex for this setting. Number six is post node status. It's set default to no, and yes, by golly, we do want it to report our stats to the All Star Link network. We're going to leave node access list set to open. This is an area where you can set admits and denials of different nodes, but we're going to leave it open at this time for the purposes of this video and the interface tune CLI is not applicable since we are doing a radialist node. So let's go back and look asterisk says hey we need to be restarted so let's do that. Alright asterisk has been restarted 
Now we can come down here to update AMI password. Now I want you to make a note of that because we're going to use that here in a little bit for Almon 3. So just hit cancel and back out of that. Make note of your IA export and it does default at 4569. You probably don't have a need to change your default port to any other port number since it's on a cloud server. It's technically the only thing on that network and uh, there won't be a need to do that. Okay, now that we've had a look at that, we're going to back out of this menu and we're going to exit from the main menu. Okay, let's go to root, or root directory I should say. And let's go cd etsy almon3 and then we can go nano, I'm sorry, sudo nano almon3 dot ini. And this is our ini file for our almon3 web interface. And we come down here to the bottom and we have our only node listed commented out and we're going to comment it right back in. And when I say comment in, it means we're going to remove the semicolons from the beginning of every line starting with this 1999 line. But we're going to change 1999 for this instance to 576336. We're going to leave host as the same and user admin as the same and then we're going to change this password to the password that was in our asterisk AMI so that the node can log in to the asterisk server. Okay, now that we've got that changed, we can hit Control X, yes to save, enter to exit. Now, since we're in the Almon3 directory, we need to strip away the default Almon3 username and login and put in our own. And I've got three commands just to do that. Strip that one away. We're going to set a new password for username admin. Hit enter. And now it wants the new password. And we're going to go P A S S W O R D 2024. And it wants verification, so you get to type it in again. Hit enter. Now we've got to restart that. Almon3 service so that it will look for the new password. Done and done. So now we're going to go to our browser. We're going to type in the IP address assigned to us by Linode and hit forward slash Almon3, hit enter. And there it is. This is our Almon3 talking to our 576336 node. So let's try and log in. And we are successful. You could save that if you want to. I kind of do because it's me. All right, so we can come over here and hit the little links and bring up our execute command and we're going to hit connect and we're going to connect to 55553. It's a parrot node down in Plano, Texas. Hit connect. And the little red light's on showing that there's activity and in a second it will turn green because you can see we are connected. Our connection is established to node 55553, the parrot plus enhanced parrot in Plano, Texas and it's in transceive mode. And now the system is idle and somebody else must be on there because they're already talking. This node gets used a lot. Oh, I haven't updated yet, so I don't know who else is on there. We're not gonna stick around for that, so we're just gonna log out. And our log out is successful. And guess what? You have successfully configured your ASL3, Debian 12, cloud server, as a hub. Now this is the same steps once you get your Debian 12 image installed on PC you're going to take the same steps to configure your node.
One thing here I want to point out for sure, this is the landing page for my 576332 Raspberry Pi All-Star Link 3 node at my house. The Raspberry Pi nodes get this landing page right now. You will not get a landing page like this for your Debian 12 install on a cloud or a PC at this time. From what I understand, it's something that could come in the very near future. From what I'm being told, it's a future project. But if you just configure your node, as I showed you here tonight, you have a functioning All-Star Link 3 node on a Debian 12 install. Oh, wasn't supposed to show you that yet. <laughs> My next video, I'm going to kind of walk you through how to install Supermon version 7.4 plus on your All-Star Link 3 Debian 12 install. I've already done it for Raspberry Pi, the Raspberry Pi version, and it's really not all that difficult. In case you're interested and you want to use Supermon 7.4 on your Debian 12 install for your cloud node, cloud hub, whatever the case may be. But ladies and gentlemen, you have a functioning All-Star Link version 3 node on a Debian 12 install and your Almon 3 is up and you're ready to have some All-Star Link fun. That's all I can say about that. Y'all take care. This is Freddie Mac, your ham radio crusader saying 73s, wishing all the good signals to be yours and ham on y'all. Yeah.